In this next section, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step assembly of your model. Depending on how familiar you are with our models and how quickly you work, you can hit fast forward and speed through this assembly. If you've never put together a Getting Nerdy model, expect to go through this entire tutorial in anywhere from 10 to 25 minutes. If you followed our advice from earlier and downloaded and printed off the instructions of the student PDF, you'll have everything you need to follow along this next portion of the tutorial. I'm literally going to read the instructions word for word. Again, you can speed this part up if you're familiar with our models. The glue dots you received in your envelope come in perforated sheets of 12 dots. The glue dots team has been kind enough to provide us with instructions on how to use their glue dots. Take a moment to read the instructions provided here. Press pause if you need to. Number one, find the eye base with optic nerve, fat, and cornea and the internal eye. Apply glue to the back of the internal eye piece and align it to the back side of the eye base piece, aligning the corneas so that their edges meet. When attached properly, you should be able to see the inside and outside surface of the eye. Number 2. Apply glue to the top of tab MM1 and fold it under. Attach the medial rectus muscle by tab MM1 over MM on the fatty layer. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly and the muscle should extend toward the optic nerve. Number 3. Apply glue to the tab and attach the lens by tab L1 to L on the internal eye. Number 4. In cases where your glue dots are too big for the tabs, keep a pair of scissors handy and cut them into halves or quarters to fit onto smaller tabs. Apply glue to the tab and attach the iris by tabs L2 on top of tab L1 on the lens. Number 5. Apply glue to the tab and attach the tapetum lucidum by tab S1 to S on the internal eye. If constructing a human eye, skip this step and move on to step 6. Number 6. Apply glue to the tab and attach the magnified rods and cones by tab S2 to S1 over the tapetum lucidum. If constructing a human eye, attach this structure to S on the eye base. Number 7. Apply glue to the tab and attach the retina by tab S3 to S2 over the magnified rods and cones. Number 8. Apply glue to the tab and attach the sclera by tab S4 to S3 over the retina. Number 9. Apply glue to the top of the tab LM1 and fold it under. Attach the lateral rectus muscle by tab LM1 over LM on the sclera. You should not be able to see the tab when applied correctly and the muscle should extend toward the optic nerve. Number 10. If constructing a human eye, Locate the superior and inferior oblique muscles. Apply glue to the tab SM1. Attach the superior oblique muscle by tab SM1 over SM on the sclera. Apply glue to the tab IM1. Attach the inferior oblique muscle by tab IM1 over IM on the sclera. The muscles should extend up and out from the sclera towards the optic nerve. If constructing an animal eye, non-human, skip this step and move on to step 11. Number 11. Locate the superior and inferior rectus muscles. Apply glue to the top of the tab SM2 and fold it under. Attach the superior rectus muscle by tab SM2 over SM, SM1, which is a human eye, on the sclera. Apply glue to the top of the tab IM2 and fold it under. Attach the inferior rectus muscle by tab IM1 over IM or IM1 on the human eye on the sclera. 
You should not be able to see the tabs when applied correctly and the muscles should extend up and out from the sclera toward the optic nerve. Number 12. Apply glue to the tab and attach the fatty layer by tab S5 to S4 over the sclera. Number 13. Find the optic nerve bundle. Apply glue to the back and attach to the top of the fatty layer where it says optic nerve and over tab S5. You should glue the bundle down to the entire length of the optic nerve. Voila! Your model is complete. You can use this as a study tool to prepare for your exploration or as a virtual dissection in place of the real thing. It's getting...